And they would always ask her when she was outside playing. It was like, what you what you got in you? What? She was like, vanilla. Mm -hmm. yeah. I mean, mm -hmm. just as innocent as she wanted to be. Mm -hmm. So to see that now, it, it you know, people can have you all pegged wrong, have your character twisted. They, like I said, only they see 15 minutes of your life, swear up and down, they know everything about you. Right. Mm -hmm. And they don't, don't you know? know. But I just feel like, <laughs> like you said, not justifying the situation because I, I was nappy headed. It still am. I was. <laughs> well, you got that good hair on the day, okay? I got that long hair. I got that smooth one right now, but I am not on the neck head. Y'all seen, y'all go back in my videos where I did some hair tutorials on blow drying this hair up under here, okay? okay. I got coarse hair like my father. But me coming up as, as a child, being in a family where, you know, it was, you know, predominantly mixed, um, I had that problem. I was called nappy headed, you know, and um, it kind of hurt my feelings a lot. It had me growing up thinking like, wow, like what's wrong with my hair? And then that's when we came off the press con perms. And, yeah, yeah. Oh, before they yes, came girl. out, before yes, they came girl. out with uh, extensions, y'all, or before I knew about the doggone extensions, I I went and got some black ribbons. Oh. Remember oh, back so in the day, the yarn. Want, but, so no, remember them ribbons. I remember them yarn. Yeah. 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 How about I took and braided the black ribbons? Inside yeah. my hair because I wanted long yeah. hair when I was yeah. Let me find out. That was happening. But I was creating it. No, this is a bad one. This, this is a bad one. Why back in the day, if you wore a wig, you had a problem. You was really <laughs> bald. Really? She had no she hair. Hair. Yeah, Now, now, hair. now, people that's embracing their real hair and everybody putting on wigs. But if you wore a wig and you was young, it was a problem. It was a problem. Oh, she got all hair. Now, <laughs> now, people that wear their natural hair, oh girl, you need to do something with your hair. Yeah, yeah. All all what's wrong with my hair? You know, what's wrong with it? It's people, it's okay, women, it's women that don't uplift the other sister. That's the right, problem. Right, right. You whatever you, you if you want to embrace your natural, if you want to embrace a lace front, whatever you want to embrace, that's what you want to do for you. That's right. But everybody, Pray and worry about yourself, mm -hmm. it'll be a better world. And a way right. better world. Mm -hmm. Right. And pray first. Up, and speak up for support. Why up not? Up support. Right. right. Girl power. That's pour right. into people. Pour into people's spirit. I'm telling you, it's nothing like somebody coming up to you at the grocery store and saying, you know what? You got such a pretty smile. Oh, when I got that so many times. <laughs> <laughs> it makes your day. It's that thing. Yeah. Oh, you can't get enough mm -hmm. take that. But you know what? They be. No, what you just said. Them them down. Down. <laughs> but you know what? There are good people like that. But then what do you do? You do have the negative ones out there. Yeah. Because we can't put each other down. For instance, there was some pretty green eyes. Girl, I'm here, right, I'm Girl, that ain't her hair. That is not her hair. You that thought it ain't her hair. Okay, but it still looks pretty. Right, she still look good though. I didn't know what her hair until you told me that. Right, right. right. That's her prerogative. Right. It's so much hate. It's so much hate. Yeah, it is. It's not and enough. It's not it enough. Within enough. us, it, it seems like it's more in our Women. race. Cause you don't see no guys walking around here talking about man. Look at him with his old <laughs> whatever. <laughs> <laughs> Men don't hate like women hate on each other. We, do. we hate on women. We do not uplift each other we don't. enough. We don't. Men, they don't care what he coming in the house with. Right, no. They don't, don't care. They don't, care. Ass, they don't care if he didn't get a haircut. He ain't got a line up. You're right. right. He don't care. Right. They didn't even get a line up. They didn't even get a line up. Right. Now, back to it. Exactly. Baby. But women, us women, you know what? Even as, even as women, us women can tear young boys down too. Mm -hmm. It's not just about women, because we can really have a way with words that will have a man's self esteem real oh, low. Oh, yeah. 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 You don't want nobody to hurt your son, but you hurt somebody else. Right. Exactly. Yeah. We yeah. do that too. So yeah. it's yeah. like a lot of hurt in this world. It's a lot of hurt. But you know, praying to things get better, because prayer do change things. I pray that it gets better for her um, because she is somewhat. I guess she's this phone right now. <laughs> it's her, you know. Yeah. Yeah. Um, her feelings is involved. Her, not only just her feelings, the queen has lost, uh, what do you call it? She's she has missed out on opportunities. Oh, yeah. A lot of opportunities because, and, and, and that's a form of, 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Keeping the sister down. That's it. You know, keep it, keep yeah. it down. Like, oh, she getting up there. Keep it down. No, y'all surface this video back up. Yeah. You know, yeah. it's yeah. like nobody yeah. focusing on. Don't pick up something. You know, nobody. Who who's gonna be the bigger person to say, okay, but she apologized. Yeah. yeah. Okay, but she said she was sorry for mm -hmm. that. Okay, no, no, bring it up though. She getting up there. Yeah. It's it's getting too good now. Yeah. It's, yeah. Why we why do we have that syndrome? It seems like. But you know what? It's not that. Just like just like in the hood. Mm -hmm. You pull up with the new link and they like, oh, where'd she get that from? Mm -hmm. She must get her income tax. <laughs> <laughs> or sugar daddy, or sugar daddy, or something. Right. Well, I, don't she know she she I don't know what I told you she was sleeping with that old man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not that she worked hard. hard. It's not that she had two jobs right. Right. and she right. saved her money and got her link. It's hate. Yeah, right. It's not, and like, you got you got to. Surround yourself with around them. people that's going to build you but up. But they can work Even your family members. Yeah. Even your family members. Oh, the families will hurt you first. Yeah. 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 But, you know, but you know what I realized? You take that to heart. You know what I realized yeah. as a dog? And this is so true. Hurt people hurt people. But not only that, you don't go out so I'm having a bad day, my feelings hurt. I don't go out and pick a stranger to hurt. That's right. I'm right. gonna pick on my daughter. You know what? You get on my Go clean up your room. Go do this. Right, right, right. You are grateful. Yeah, yeah, you know what yeah. I'm saying? So I'm trying to be mindful when it comes to hurting the people around me that loves me. Because mm -hmm. people around you hurt you. And it'd be the closest one to you. Just like when your mother or your grandmother's going through something, they're going through age, they say the hurtful stuff, you be like, but they was hurt, you, right? You, like, you yeah, like yeah. you on your last leg and you still trying to hurt somebody? Mm -hmm. How you do that? Mm -hmm. They gotta get it out. Mm -hmm. right. But it don't be towards stranger. Right. It be towards right. the person that loves you. you take taking care of. Them. Right. Mm -hmm. That's what it be. It be yeah. the people that take you. Yeah. You taking care of. And so, it's just it's just a, like a really hard life is hard. Mm -hmm. Life is hard. Mm -hmm. yeah. Especially when you got people that's constantly ripping you down. Yeah. She so drags. Like, she's yeah. constantly. She's constantly yeah. dragging. And a lot of, a lot of. Now, now they gonna say this too because you know I'm. They say that things in videos and they, in comments and things. Yeah. Like, Why she just not saying something? She ain't say that before when it was like, oh, not she. Uh, I think she they cool back to get no. A lot of things I have not spoken on because Queen asked me not to speak on. A lot of things. A lot of times I would call Queen. Do you hear what they're saying? Do you see what they're saying? You want me to say something? Right, right, right. You know, I, would you please tell them I've always been that type of mother? This is not like something no, brand new. No, no, okay, no. I was known as the, okay, that's what she's going to protect. Okay. Yeah, yeah. But, man, you, when she tells you, I'm going by, this is, to me, this, this is her role. This, this is her, her platform. And she said, don't say nothing, don't say nothing. But when your child comes to you and say, Mama, and I know when Queen hurt. Yeah, right, Queen yeah. don't, well, Queen basically handles her own. She She'll let me know, Mama, please, stop. I can handle Mama, right. stop. But when she come to me and I get that call, she be like, Mama, guess what? There it goes. That's how you know. Yeah. That, there it goes. Mm -hmm. Like, what? What's up? You know, well, they, this happened and this happened. I already know. You want me to say something? And then off the top, it's, I, I, you, you know what, go ahead. Mm -hmm. And so that's why we're here because very seldomly she will come to me and say, Mama, you know, enough is enough. You know, enough is enough. You know, and I just feel like, you know, you don't run somebody down to the ground. How many times are you going to crucify the child? I mean, how can we come together as black women? First of all, we got to have forgiveness. That's true. Forgiveness. Yes, that's true. Because we have a hard time. Now, I understand. Believe me, y'all. Don't slap me when I say this all three years. <laughs> I do understand a lot of black brothers. Because mm -hmm. us sisters can give them a hard time. Mm -hmm. We're not going to get off the subject. Mm -hmm. We are so unforgiving. Mm -hmm. So unforgiving. No, no, how I know. How I know. How I know. How I know. After we ran him down. After we ran him down. Yeah. 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 And yeah. tore his character up. Yeah. Yeah. And, and we ran him down. He didn't do nothing to uplift him. Yeah, yeah. Guess what? We focus on the negative. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. But time. baby, I'm trying to make it better though. Yeah, but you said that before. Mm -hmm. Then why you stand with him then? Right. If he said it before. And if he yeah. said it before, then you shouldn't have trusted him then. Bounce. Right. But we have no type of forgiveness, no remorse, no nothing. And you can't single out one person and say, you know, she ain't black. Or she, you know, she's mixed. That's 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 her, but that's like Somebody telling you, you're not black. You ain't black. You ain't, you ain't with us. You don't count. It's saying so many words. 
you're irrelevant, you don't count, you don't matter because you have this ounce of Arab blood in you. It don't care who your mama is, how many times you didn't, uh, you was raised what, around black folks, you was in the hood or whatever, it don't matter about nothing. We denounce everything, we denounce you. Right. How would you feel? That's all I'm saying. Especially, I can see if she was at a, a point where she was like, yeah, I said it, I, and I don't apologize. I still feel that way. But she hasn't. You know, she, she was wrong, she admitted her wrong, she came, but now it's like, oh, she don't mean that, she just said that. But well, there's no reason for her to still hold on. The beautiful person that Queen is, there's no type of, um, what's the word? Malice. Yeah, there's no type of no malice or, or nothing to even hold on to. And, and there's no reason, that she, does, she doesn't need nothing, no reason to just lie or just say, well, let me just say this because I'm worried about them hitting me. Right, nothing. Because ain't anybody gonna hit me, you know? That's not gonna happen, you know? But the, from the fact that y'all have to look at her personality and see the type of person that she is. And if she's the Fennec Queen is always quick to apologize. That she do get from me. Yeah. If I run into somebody, yes. I'm always, always quick to like apologize. That. Always. You know, because that's the household that I, I know what God I know what pleases God. Mm -hmm. And that's what the household queen was raised under. You know, you right. said something, you know, you go back. You know, I right. I've said a lot of things out of anger and I come back and apologize. But you know what I'm learning? Social media is not forgiven. Not at all. At all. They're not. Oh, hold on. Better hold on to it. Yeah, bring it up. Yeah. Social media. But you know what? I'm scared to say OJ name. But, you, but maybe I should. Yeah. But you know what? Oh, the thing you brought him back up. up. Right. But the thing about the thing about is with social media, social media ain't got no friends. Right. Right. Because people don't even know how to be a friend to people when it comes to social media. Mm -hmm. And you don't know who these people are. And then you know what, we so petty, I ain't gonna lie, I got this, we got this friend, she loves social media. And so she'll post our videos and stuff, and it got to the point like, why do you, I did some petty stuff, I'm like, why did you post that? Why did you post me dancing like that? You know I go to church. Mm -hmm. she, looked like, <laughs> she looked like, well if you go to church, why was you dancing like that? <laughs> and I said, there wasn't God, for you to God, I said, God, I said, God know my heart. Mm -hmm. But she like, okay, if you're going to get that mad about it, why did you do it? Mm -hmm. So you want to wear this hat, then you want to wear that hat. Right. What hat is you going to wear? Mm -hmm. And I'm like, whatever hat I want to put on, right. don't so put my stuff on oh, social media right. unless I want to put it on there. Yeah, yeah. But we, right. came, we came to a mutual agreement on, she called me and said, okay, is it okay if I put this on here? Because <laughs> some stuff not for the public eye for me. Right. Right. I work in an education setting, and some stuff I don't want my students to see me doing. <laughs> I want them to look at me <laughs> on what they see. Because right. whatever I go home and do behind closed doors is my business. And that's because you're not in the public eye. <laughs> now you just said something. Right. I'm not in the public eye. Right. She but is. since she, she is, is, and she yeah. is, yeah. it just be like if we was, if Queen was not in the public. <laughs> And Queen was at home and Queen said this. It wouldn't be no problem. It wouldn't be, whatever it may be, let's say if it is. Say it is. Say somebody do come to the door with their mom and they be like, uh. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It she might said, be. She said, she might be able to go to your mom yeah. um, and such and such. Off the top, it would have been the same attitude it is now, not because we're in the public eye, but like, come here, Nadja. Mm -hmm. You shouldn't have said that. Oh, right. You right. shouldn't have said it like that. Right. You know what I'm saying? Because I am a black woman. Right. I got nappy here. But you shouldn't have said it like that. But however, I'm going to keep it real. What did your daughter do to her to call her, for her to call her that name like that? Mm -hmm. And they make us said out of anger. How we said out of anger? Because what did you do to her? Because mm -hmm. yeah. she didn't just right. say to make her say that. Yeah. yeah. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Don't say that. And yeah. at the same time, we as parents, if we sent sensible, we squash it, make them to apologize like they usually do in the hood. Right. And it's and over. Go, with. It's over. But no. since this is public, it just goes. Don't let it go. Don't let it go. I mean, y'all hold on to it oh. and don't let it go. Mm -hmm. And what's with it? 17? Yeah, 2017 that video was made. It's 2020 mm -hmm. and it's still surfacing. I'm not making no excuse, but I'm gonna say this. We make a lot of mistakes and we say a lot of dumb things in life, period. In life, period. period. I have said some dumb things. I have said things that I regret. Mm -hmm. I wish I never said. Mm -hmm. But there's a time where you have to understand what that person was at that place and time. Exactly. You right. can't take them and hold them 
to where she is now. Say, no, you that girl back there. No, I'm that woman mm -hmm. right here because I'm a woman now. She's growing and learning. I was a teenager, girl. You yeah. can't put me back there. You can't put nobody back. No, no, no. You know, we've called me all grown. I can't look at Carla and say, or Diane or Tracy and say, no, you you that same one, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I just went from the hood. I'm like, no, girl, I'm just being down and down. Right, I'm right, right. Man, I done came a long, long way. Okay, okay. So, so you can't hold that against somebody. Yeah, you can't. You just, yeah. just, you know, keep it hold. People grow and they move on. And if you can't move on from that, then what is that saying about you? Yeah, exactly. You know, I'm, I know that it's grown women saying this. You know what I'm saying? Because it's a lot of deals, like I said, that she has missed out on. Mm -hmm. So you mean to tell me you can't find it in your heart? Or are you going by what you heard? Because mm -hmm. a lot of us go by what we heard. What? Don't use her. Uh-uh. She don't like dark skinned people. Mm -hmm. For real? Uh-uh. Wow. Well, I'm good, girl. Right. Wow. Did you even do That's research? Did you even right. look up? Did you even see? You know what I'm saying? Or are you just going by the fact right. that? Your girl told you. I'm gonna go out with my girl said because that's my girl and she ain't gonna lie. I ain't using her. Whatever. And there's three years old and, and she's old. grown now. Yeah. She's a woman now. She's apologized mm -hmm. several Pretty times. Times. So you could tell yeah. it really affected her. It when, does. when I went on Instagram, it's a million things queens can be talking about that's and right. address. That's true. Her new album, her new song. Everything. She took the time out and that's how you could tell it was bothering yeah. her. And also at that time, uh, she came to Instagram to talk about the um, colorist issue. Pack Life, she got the $1,000 challenge for the song, whatever. Mm -hmm. She could barely get out that that's what she wanted to promote mm -hmm. as she was getting her views up to talk about this mm -hmm. issue. That's how I knew that it was really bothering her. Right. And like I said, that happened three years ago. Mm -hmm. Right. But she really wanted to address that and get that out. She took she a lot of time. Like she said, she apologized. She went back, you know, explained what happened, how it happened. Again, she addressed it again. She apologized again. She was sincere. Mm -hmm. Now, all of us know, Queen, we know how she is. We know how she was mm -hmm. from a little, little girl. And it was no, nothing, um, now it was nothing evil or wrong that she said when she said what she said. She's grown from that and she's grown now and I just don't feel like she gotta keep apologizing. So I hope Queen never liked the drama. Yeah. Never. So there, she was always with a, with a happy, giddy, happy, goofy, yeah. but Queen yeah. loves to make silly. you laugh. Feel like that. Very silly. She, she loves to make you laugh yeah. so you can tell she was the type of person that w wouldn't want to start no drama. No. Unless she's not the type. Not to say she's scary, no. but if Queen can avoid a fight, Queen will avoid a fight. Right. Yeah. So her character is not going to be, I'm just going to say this just to, right. you know, people who run a fight and say stuff like, Well, I'm going to tell you this. Some words. Her godmom, Carlo here, she's scary, okay? <laughs> yeah, so, I was taught, some girls, don't hold this against me social media, the other girls ain't got nothing to lose. They'll dig your eye out. They'll pull your hair out. <laughs> and not to say they're ugly on their face, but they ugly inside. Because you can be the prettiest woman mm. on the outside, but so you can true. be so ugly in the so inside true. that your beauty don't even shine. Yep. Then you could be the one that didn't get any looks, don't have the nicest looks, mm -hmm. but you can be so beautiful that your light shines. Mm -hmm. So when it comes to Queen, to me, I feel like that situation, it was traumatized. She was traumatized by that because it kept on happening to her. Yeah. It wasn't one incident, but it was several. several. Mm -hmm. So when you get trauma by something, and then now she's going through it again, so that's like a second trauma. Right? Yeah, it's right. It's like, you know what I mean? Bringing everything back up. So wow. and if, yeah, any, why? if anybody deal with trauma, it, it, it lingers on you. It lingers mm -hmm. on you. And sometimes it shapes the person that you become mm -hmm. because when something embedded in you and it hurts you so bad, you do look like... Now, this girl right here, she don't have nothing positive to say. It just bring up a lot of childhood memories. Mm -hmm. you, you get what I'm saying? Yeah. Because the queen you know is the yeah. queen I know. Right. The laughter yeah. queen, like for so, instance, mm -hmm. queen stop coming over to my house, y'all. Listen to this. 